friends welcome again to another session on uh, congruent triangles and uh, in the previous session we had one uh, criterion and we saw how we can prove that criteria right and that was asa and uh, also we saw a corollary to that criterion what was that aa congruence aas congruence criterion isn't it now in this session we are going to take up one more um, congruence criterion but this time we are going to use GeoGebra and uh, try to um, simulate the process, draw the diagrams here. And at the same time, we'll try to prove the given criterion. Now, this time we have taken what? Side, side, side congruence criterion. So the session will be divided like this, or it is structured like this. In the first part, we are going to explain what does this congruence criterion mean, what is written over your screen. And subsequently, we will prove that if this criterion whatever is the statement of this criterion is actually true so we'll try and get a general proof for it right i hope you understood uh, uh, what we are going to do in this session so let's start and uh, after this we'll also do one more session uh, on the other remaining criterion and post which we'll be taking different types of questions on congruence now the questions could be regular uh, uh you know primary level stuff that is you know the uh, very primitive level questions we'll solve those as well so that uh, we get familiarized with how to apply that and later on we'll also take up questions which are let's say olympiadic level where questions could be solved only using congruence and some basic properties of triangle okay so i hope this is clear to everyone and uh, let's begin so here what i have done is we are going to discuss uh, the side 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 congruence criteria now what does this criteria mean so first of all it means that if there are two triangles as you can see on your screen a b c and p q r there are two triangles and um, how and what is the speciality about this triangle is that this side a b here a b is equal to p q um, b c is equal to q r and c a is equal to r p okay so only sides are given to be equal so if you remember for congruence criteria what all things are needed first all the angles corresponding angles must be equal so a must be equal to p b must be equal to q c is equal to r in this case it doesn't mean that all the time a will be equal to p no depends on you know uh, what is the con configuration you have got so in this case clearly i have drawn the image like uh, figures like that so hence a is going to be equal to p here so that's what the current setup is all about now um over and above that it's given that a b is equal to p q it's given so yeah so let me mention somewhere what's given so here is what is given so given is let me name them so a b is equal to p q this is first criteria which is there then bc is equal to qr bc is equal to qr and third one is ca ca the third side is ca and that is equal to rp right so these are the three conditions given there is no mention of any angle to be equal and we have an objective objective is to prove to prove what do we need to prove we need to prove that triangle abc abc is congruent to triangle pqr okay so you must be wondering why do we need to understand the proof so you don't need to mug up anything it's just for understanding intellectual curiosity that we need to understand how provings are done and later on yes if it is required in an example we will be able to do that and uh, mostly it's a problem solving you know problem solving scenario so hence if we need to start from point a and go to point b what should be our approach so that's it okay so let's begin our proof for this particular proof since no mention of angle is there we need to bring angle somehow because what have we studied so far we have studied two congruence criteria one was sas in that also there is an angle included and the other one was asa so there are two angles are involved and in this case there is no mention of any angle at all so what do we do so somehow we need to bring the concept of angle some you know somewhere so 
and if you see any of the angles that you prove are equal for example if a is equal to p or b is equal to q or c is equal to r any of these angles are equal then our job is done why because anyway sides are equal so then it will fit it into our sas scheme two sides are anyways equal in fact three sides are equal all the three corresponding sides are equal so if we just need to prove only one angle to be equal corresponding angles to be equal so for this we need to actually draw or do some construction now if you have a question that how do we know that we have to do some construction probably at this stage i'll not be able to answer that why because this comes with a maturity in the subject matter right point number one and anyways as we are seeking an angle and straightforward it's not appearing that hey there is any angle equal then uh, we need to think out of the box and that's how we get to this okay so what kind of construction but so this is what we are doing just you know um, see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line okay uh, let me just switch it off for some time okay now so i'm going to draw a uh, a line what type of line um i am going to draw a line like this okay and just a moment i am going to reflect about a line so let's say i'm going to reflect this around this what does this mean oh, i'm sorry so i did wrong reflection just a minute what i need to do is need to reflect what reflect this line with respect to this line okay yeah so i got this reflection what does this mean reflection mean this pq here it, it appears to be pq dash so no that point is something else let me just take away that point as well so q dash is not required i don't require this i don't require this okay just a minute yeah so it's gone and then i have to also uh do yeah so pq is there so i hope this is clear to everyone so this point is q and this is p dash so what is the speciality about this let me just say so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw p dash q p dash q is equal to pq okay this is the construction i'm doing and ensuring that angle p q r is equal to angle p dash q r this is what i am ensuring what is p q r and p p dash q r so let me just switch it off again and i'm i'm measuring the angles which angle so i am measuring these two angles p um i am measuring angles for r q oh sorry the other angle i have to measure wait a minute so let me undo it yeah and now i am measuring the angle which angle r q p 68.2 and p dash q dash r both are 68.2 so just to show you that they are equal i did this okay so once again um i will undo it i don't require all these angles i'm saying can you see this this is 68.2 68.2 just remember i or just you know uh, keep in mind you don't need to measure the angle but they are same just you need to know and pq is equal to qp dash that's what i have done okay now let me take away these i don't want these either these also so let me take that away okay so now what i am going to simply do is i am going to join this segment which one so that the triangle is completed okay so this i did i don't need the name so i will hide the label not needed so now you can see okay now uh let's do what i'm first of all let me just uh, okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this here okay take this and reduce the size maybe yeah, i don't need this much space so let me take this here okay just so that i can write on the other side okay now so i'm writing here pqr is p dash qr and p dash q is pq so hope this is clear now let's take a uh, triangle so this is given i'm going in the opposite direction so please don't mind okay so usually i should write like this but never mind so what i'm going to do is consider triangle which two triangle abc 
and uh, P dash QR triangle and triangle P dash Q R right P dash Q R and A B C. Do you not see that A B is equal to Q P dash right or P dash Q by A? Because I constructed it, so I can write this as by construction. Also, angle B is equal to angle P dash Q R. And why is that? Again, by construction. By construction. Okay. So uh, that's what. So earlier, when I saw, when you showed it to this, actually, I should have so shown you this. Which angle? Uh, these angles. Actually, it is this angle which was equal. But since these are congruent triangles, so hence for the construction sake, I saw it, showed it to you. So these two angles are equal. Let us say this is x. So this is also x. Okay. I have done it by construction. Okay. And anyways, it was a reflection, so you can understand. Hmm. Now, uh, when see reflection, I did only to construct CP dash equal to length PQ with the same angle. That's it, just for the sake of symmetry. Otherwise, the construction is you have to draw QP dash such that pq is equal to qp dash and this angle and x and x are equal that's it okay i hope this is clear to you so i'm comparing these two triangles i got ab is equal to p dash q i got angle b is equal to angle p dash qr which is equal to x both of them are equal to x so this is clear i believe then what um after this i am saying uh let's say what else qr bc if you see bc is equal to qr Come equal sides, anyways, it was given, right? See, BC is equal to QR here. That means what? This will ensure that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle P dash QR, not PQR, P dash QR, right? By which criteria? It is nothing but SAS criteria. I hope you're convinced. The moment that is true, what do I get? I get these results from here. What all? One is that PQ. Or uh, AB is equal to AB is equal to P dash Q, right? This side will be equal to this side. But folks, AB was equal to PQ. Look at this point. AB is equal to PQ here, right? That means I can add simply PQ. So what do I get? P dash Q is equal to PQ. So this side is also equal to this side. Fantastic. What else? I will get P dash R is equal to ac and hence since ac was equal to pr so all these are equal right i'm writing it here so by cpct i get ac is equal to p dash r but ac was also equal to see rp so i can write this or pr oh sorry um yeah ac was equal to pr so hence i can write pr here right so p dash r becomes equal to pr so these are two equal sides this is equal side now let me do this again so the moment there are equal sides there is mouth watering thing what is that so let me draw a line here fantastic now i don't need the name so i will hide the label okay now let's go back to the writing stuff yeah so do you see this sides are equal what does this indicate very clearly this angle let's see if this is theta this angle will be theta y isosceles triangle P R Q is a isosceles triangle, right? So triangle, I'm writing it here. Triangle P R Q, P R sorry, P R P dash. My bad, P R P dash, right? In triangle P R P dash. So let me just draw a line here. So in triangle P R P dash, since P R is equal to P dash R, right? These two sides are equal. So hence you can say. Um, Angle P, angle R, P, P dash is equal to angle R, P dash, P. I hope this is clear. Look carefully. Theta, both are equal to theta. Fantastic. Similarly, if you take this two triangle, if you see here, this is, let's say this is alpha. Okay. So this angle is also alpha. Same reason. So let me write it here now. So in triangle, why don't I just turn off the axis? So let me turn off the axis so that we get more space here. Okay, I turned it off now. So hence, you will get what triangle P C P dash P C P dash. What do I get? 
I get PQ is equal to QP dash. So hence I will directly write QP P dash, right? So angle Q P P dash is equal to angle Q P dash P. No problem in that, I hope, right? Which is equal to alpha. Now that means what? If you add this theta plus alpha here and theta plus alpha here, both are same or not, isn't it? So hence, can I not say angle, which angle? QPR. So QPR is equal to angle QP dash R. QP dash R. And both are equal to what? Theta plus alpha. Right? Clear? No problem. Both are equal. So what do I now know? Guys, so now take up, let's take up this triangle A uh, P Q R P Q R is congruent to triangle P dash Q R. And why is that? Why is that? Because P Q is equal to P dash Q. We had constructed angle P is equal to angle P dash. We just proved that. And that is equal to theta plus alpha. Both are equal to theta plus alpha. And PR or RP is equal to RP dash. Proved it. Where? Here. Check. Here. Right? So that means this is congruent. The moment that is congruent, what do I mean? Or what do I get? I get. Um, right? What do I get? I get angle P is equal to angle p dash anyways it was there and i don't i actually i did not prove it that um yeah but anyways so so these two angles are equal now if you remember angle p dash q r was also congruent to a b c where is it that written this is here check this condition let me use this color this condition triangle a b c was congruent to triangle p q r and PQR is congruent to PQ P dash QR, right? So, um, I'm, uh, yeah, sorry, this was to be proven. So, no, don't ignore this one. So, this is not the point I was trying to make here. What I was saying is where this one. So, triangle ABC is P dash QR congruent. These two are congruent. And we got PQR is congruent to P dash QR. Now, one triangle is congruent to the Second triangle, second triangle is congruent to the third triangle. That means the first triangle has to be congruent to the third triangle, isn't it? So hence, what can I conclude with? I can say triangle ABC, okay, is congruent to triangle P dash Q or PQR. I hope you got the logic. Logic is, see, ABC was congruent to P dash QR. And from here, we proved that P dash QR is congruent to PQR. So, with those two combined, if one is congruent to the second one, second one is the third one, so first and third one have to be congruent. And hence, we achieved our end objective. So, this is what we needed to prove. We needed to prove that the two triangles are congruent if the three corresponding sides are equal. Correct? So, hence, what is the uh, conclusion? Conclusion is, if there are two triangles where each side is equal to the other side, corresponding side, then the two triangles are congruent, right? That means each angles also, corresponding angles will also be equal. I hope you understood this theorem. Now, uh, theorems are one thing, but we need to now solve a little bit, pro you know, some more problems onto these concepts. Moreover, only one more congruence criteria we are going to discuss further, that is RHS congruence criteria, and then we will take up problems related to all of this. I hope you understood, liked it, Thanks for watching and let's meet again in a different session. Thank you.